again with if uh, there is a uh, lunatic fringe. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. doing this morning. I got views on my, my last reading. Uh, pretty excited about it. Whoa, uh, what the heck? That's it. Where'd the camera man go? Uh, yeah, we can do that. We can do it like that. Yeah. Do this. situation there, Spirit. Oh, oh the collector. Oh. What do you guys think about that one? Hmm? I think it's, uh, wow. Look at you, a nice kitty cat. All by his lonesome, just drank a bunch of milk. Now what are you gonna do? They're gonna grant some wishes. This card means your wish will be granted if it's upright. If it's this way, then it's like it's not gonna be granted. But your wish is gonna be granted because you drank all the milk. And nobody else, everybody else in the house is lactose intolerant. So you did everybody a favor. Because they didn't want to drink it. Because they'd be on the toilet for three hours. Good job there. What's new, pussycat? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's new, pussycat? Whoa. If he drink one more cup and he said no. What? Are you nuts, kitty cat? What's the matter with you? What's the matter with you, kitty cat? Oh. So maybe, I don't know, there's two ways of looking at this. Maybe, uh, they, tried, they said they'd give him ten tentacles if he, if he, um, uh, drank the milk. But he already drank all those other milks. So, oh, maybe he, he, uh, yes, that's what it is. The guy who, who he is granting a wish for, a uh, wish for ten pentacles. And he said, sure, just give me one more glass of milk. And he's like, okay, there you go. So, I got some. Oh, 
this cameraman. We're gonna play this guy, cameraman. I don't know what the hell he's on, but he's he's not sharing, and he uh, yeah, he's not very good. Yeah, what do we got here? Oh, choice to be made. Oh, yes, there's a choice to be made. That's for sure. Who are we gonna get the fire to replace this guy? Victory in the milk drinking contest. Wow. Yes, victory. And strong bones, too. Yeah. Mm. Here we go. What else? Whoa. This one wanted to. Oh. Sailing off on a trip to. We haven't decided that yet. We don't know where you're sailing to. Is that you? Okay. No, no, that's not you. Hmm. Could be, uh... This means just, like, taking a break, like, going into the calm waters after being, like, after, like, uh, going through some kind of a battle, like, uh, like a drink, milk drinking competition. Yes. Somebody's sure getting their calcium. That's good. Let's go this way. What do we got here? Mm. Mm. Ah, da, 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 da. Oh. Okay, what do we got? Oh, judgment. Oh, what is judgment for? Mm. Maybe because nobody else was drinking their milk. And it does a body good. Yes, it does. That's what it was. So, oh. Oh, oh, the calcium gods are right pissed now. They're not gonna, I don't know, I don't know, I don't even want to think what's gonna happen. Oh, my takeaway cereal or something, like they did last time. There was a, nobody wanted to drink their milk, they took away the prizes. Yes, that's what, there used to be prizes. In, in every box, you get, you get a special prize and you get to fight your sister over it. Yes, it was fun. Okay, what do we got here? We got the King of Swords. Oh, wow. That's a very just king. What the heck has he got going? Oh, and I love the mustache. Wow. See? He could tell he's been drinking his milk. You can't grow a mustache like that without enough calcium. Let me tell you. Mm, yes. Wow. He's got a mustache like Stalin almost. Wow, it's amazing. I love it. Beautiful, beautiful. Wow. Oh. Here, let's go. Let's put it over here. Oh. Okay, put it in that position there. See, that's what that can happen, kids, when you drink your milk. You can, you can, uh, you just, it's really good for you. I heard. I'm not a doctor or health physician or anything. I've been looked at by a lot of like physicians and all. I'll tell you that, yes. So I'm in good condition, you know that. Yes. We always, I always have pajama parties with them and they they uh they give me all these this night or whatever that makes me very drowsy and then after a while they release me but they show let me say I've been I've been, I've been checked out, I've had my I've had my sh my stuff checked out, so there's no one capable of this. Oh, it's gonna be a what the heck is going on here? Oh, the truth. That is the truth they're saying. Yes, he's been in many pajama parties. Yes. Yes. They still haven't come to a conclusion. That's how smart I am. Yes. Okay, let's go to, uh, what do we got? Uh, hopes and fears, hopes and fears. No, don't, 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 don't be afraid. I always say to protect you. Let me see your leg. Oh, where did I have? Hopes and fears is the king of wands. So only you know if that's your hopes or your fears. But yeah, you guys. Sin, be scared of nothing. And that's facing the truth. So the truth came out about somebody who wasn't drinking their milk. Hmm. Yeah, and the Queen of the King of Wands had something to say about it. 
He's like, excuse me, you're not gonna drink your milk. What? That's it. Fifty lashes. Times square. Oh, wait, wait, no, no. They said, oh, here. Well, if we put a little boy in your milk, then will you drink it, you big giant fish boy? Big giant huge fish. Queen of fire. The king of fire. The king of wands said that. He's like, why ain't you drinking your damn milk? He's like, because it's got a little boy in it. He's, uh, look, he's blowing milk bubbles all over my hand, and I really like it. He looks like he really likes that game, though. He does, eh? He's like, oh, look at him. Yeah, you believe me, they're the boy having fun. Uh, oh, yes, yes, yes. But, fish can't live on milk alone. They need water. That's why he had to go back to the lake after he had to, he get, put that little boy by the side of the road with a sign on him that said, free to honest gypsies. Uh, and, uh, mm, the hopes and fears, and, uh, hmm, okay, hopes and fears, this was your, that was your hopes and fears, it was the king of wands, yeah, okay, influencing it was the truth, was the truth, so the truth is influencing this whole thing, so that's the truth, yes, and this is the lens you're looking through then, so the lens you're looking through is you're looking at the world, the eyes of a fish. Maybe that's why you're drinking so much milk. Because you fish drink all the time, don't they? They live in water. So and you just needed it to survive. It's crazy. Whoa. Okay, what do we got here? Put this, let's do one more shuffle. We'll go to, this is the environment now. We know you're looking at the world through the eyes of a fish. So what's making sense now, I bet to me. Now you know, now you know. Oh, what's this one? Oh, conflict. Conflict over what? Oh, no. The other fish are coming. And they think, how come you get to come out on the land and walk around? You like breaking into people. He grew a pair of eggs. I just noticed that now. He grew legs. He's walking around. He's playing blowing the bubbles with a little boy in a cup. And all the other people are like, oh, but they can't because they don't know how. So they started a big war on land. They started the war of the jealous water breeders who couldn't come on land and play uh, blow the bubbles with the little boy. <clears throat> oh. But this, we'll see how this ends anyway. I don't know. It's just Kind of a crazy one for me. Uh, usually, it's just, usually it's, these things come together a lot quicker, but only you know your situation, right? So, makes sense that might not make total sense to me. Uh, okay, we'll show this one more time. Please give us what's the outcome of this crazy situation, this uh, amphibious operation we have going on here. Uh, 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 see here. actually quite a bit. It is, oh my goodness, the chariot, which is Cancerian energy. This is the tank. He's coming in. He's like, tch, 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 tch. see how he's got a tank? That's part of the amphibious operation I was talking about. Because he's got to uh, gain control of the environment. That's what he does, right? He gains control of the environment. And then we've got the knight of the, who went to the special, uh, Tupperware slash alternative party there and got herself a new nightclub to uh, punish somebody with. Ooh, I'm not, that's the Tony Tao. That sounds like a Tony Tao was reading there. Okay. The High Priestess right here. Uh, very highly intuitive. Knowledgeable in the Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let me see. I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, I'm sorry, let me see this is uh, oh whoosh, I gotta wash. I'm sorry. I'm gonna have strike a controversy up like at the Canadian Parliament there with the elbow gate incident. <laughs> oh. Okay, what do we got here? We got the high priestess, yeah, very highly intuitive. We got uh mm, 
she knows she's knowledgeable and it all, she doesn't share secrets with just anybody though. She's very particular. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Yeah. Here we go, here we go. Ooh. Justice. Ah, that's me, Larry Anna. And the uh, Libra, Libra, Libra. Yeah. That's my kind of card, Justice. Wow, so somebody's going to be calling in justice of this whole thing after all. Let's see who started this uh, amphibious war between the fish and, uh, and the milk drinkers. Uh, see who's to blame, because somebody's got to be held accountable for this madness. Got to be. He just he can't, he can't just let that go. Oh, no. Somebody's got to pay for this. Right? Yes, somebody's got to pay for that. It's crazy. Stop the whole... Milk punch of conspiracy. Okay, we got here the underlying energies. We got, ooh, look at this, Queen of Wands. We got the Knight of Cups. Ah, there we go. Wow. What was the, oh yeah, 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 the secret number, the secret number. Let's see which one has the most numbers first. So we got in the underlying energy is two kind of opposing forces here because we, we all know that uh, this is fire and this is water. Fire and water don't mix, just like apparently earth and water don't. Usually they mix a lot better, but not today with the amphibious war. It's become to be known as the war of gills and lungs. Uh, I don't know what they're going to call it. I coined that term, though, if they do want to call it that. Ah, okay, so, that's perfect. Oh, yeah, what's that? Close in closing. How do you deal with this? Only you know, because only you, you're, you know the situation, right? I haven't been outside yet, so I don't know. I'm going to get me, bring me a fish net out when I go, though, just to, just in case, right? Uh, but, uh, okay, what's the secret uh, number today? Oh, we got to look down there, yeah, okay. Uh, you just pick one, Kate. Okay? You pick one, Lucy. Today's episode of uh, Larry's Lunatic Lab of Cards is brought to you by the number eight. Hmm. That's a good number. I like that. Eight. Eight. That means infinity. Because it's better if you turn it sideways. And uh, what's the letter? Oh. We did L yesterday. I know we all like L, but. S for I need a letter. I can't think of a word right now. You guys out there, what word? Super califragilistic expialidocious. That works for me. 